There is a story in this rock, a story of time, a story of the past and the present, and a story yet untold. I am attracted to this passing of time. The reason I believe is because I am finite. But this rock will outlast me. These layers, compressed, uplifted, eroded, it reminds me that even though it will outlast me, that it will not last either. It is not permanent. Everything is in a state of change. These photos are my attempt to capture a moment, a moment in time when rock and man exist. So I've got this large shelter overhang and I've got my camera positioned low. So I'm trying to get this rock in the foreground and it's got some interesting elements. It looks like it's gonna come out pretty good. I'm kind of surprised that I have this place to myself today because just off to my uh, right is a campfire ring. And usually uh, people go camping back here uh, during the summer and spring, but it was a little cold last night. We had a frost advisory and it is a weekday so no one's out so i was fortunate in that to have a place to myself this time so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you a close-up of this photo here as you can see that rock is the most prominent thing in the foreground i do have this uh rock here mid-ground and then i've got uh, a lot of background swirls in the rock that's what i'm going for But not all is solemn. This rock to me exemplifies beauty. And this beauty encourages me and energizes me to get out there and explore and see what this rock has in store. I was just filming me walking for uh, B-roll basically. And I saw this, this area here and there was this, this light coming through this crack. I want you to notice there's two different sections, but if I move this way, it's just... So I didn't like that, so I come back here. And as you can see, it closes up. So I've got two different light sources now. Now they're all blown out, but that's what I'm going for. Among these ancient monuments to time is life. Life in the form of forests, wildflowers, and animals. And the most notable of all, as quietness returns to the forest, I'm reminded that my presence here leaves a mark, be it in the form of a footfall on a well-trodden path, or by a photo that encourages one to get out and explore for themselves. This sense of exploration can lead to many discoveries, such as this one. deep into this little, uh, I won't call it a cave because it's just where two bluffs come together and uh, we've got an overhang here where it's been eroded away and then we've got another one that's been over here. Uh, so it's not quite a cave but it is very unique. Uh, I can tell people as you saw from the shots previously, uh, people have been camping back here. There is no trail back here which is kind of cool. Uh, but. I'm getting some awesome light in this area here. Uh, there's a hole and it's, it's bringing direct light in. And then I've got uh, the entrance way and the entrance way is bringing out a lot of light. So in my composition, uh, the entrance way is blown out. Uh, I may take a photo of it uh, not blown out and maybe combine them with a photo editor. All right, as you can see, I've got this really pink reddish rock here 
and uh, it shows up really good in the back of the camera here. So like I said, I've got pink rock, I've kind of got a greenish gray rock, and then I've got this blown out light from the entrance. And uh, I'm gonna take this photo here, and then I'm gonna take a, another one. Oh, and this is 13 seconds, so. Okay, now I'm gonna take another one, and I'm gonna try to get, oh yeah, so it's it's really, uh, let's turn on the manual. And now I've got my camera into uh, black and white mode to kind of show you what I'm looking at. And I use this mode a lot. It's it's my custom two uh, that I got set up in the Canon where I can get a general idea of what uh, the photo may look like. And uh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, so I really like the way the black and white turned out. But the composition I was trying to set up with the cave opening and the darker sections, they just didn't go together quite right. The wide angle distorted the trees at the cave opening, and it just didn't look pleasing to the eye. So uh, I went with a black and white. I've got another composition here. And uh, this one, I'm just trying to follow this wall. And you can see back here where it's eroded. So there must have been some kind of stream flow. It's left this area that I'm standing in and it kind of curves back this way. So I'm gonna use those lines to uh, make a composition. So I'm hoping it turns out well. Uh, there's not a lot of, uh, so there's not a lot of color in this scene. So this would be a great candidate for uh, black and white. All right, so this is a little bit better close up of this composition. Yeah, I've got these ridges here. Like I said, a stream may have come through before. I mean, there may, there may be water that comes through here and uh, at one time, and now it looks like it probably comes through. No, I thought it was wet right there. So I'm really not for sure where that, we've got a plunge pool here. Yeah, so there may have been water coming down here off one time. As you can tell right off, I am not level. The reason is I want this area to be straight, to look natural to the eye, this corner here. If I put it level, it just doesn't look right in the camera. So now everything looks good. I'm gonna take a photo. As I leave this rock shelter, I am grateful for the time spent in the rock. And I am thankful for this time to explore, bless for this time to photograph, and mesmerize for this chance to live.